Hi friends, today I am going to show you how to check the CAF tag of OEM released kernel sources. It's a very useful thing when you wanna bring up a new kernel from scratch or when you wanna know what are the changes that an OEM made on top of the CAF. So here I am dealing with the Qualcomm devices. This method cannot be followed by other non-Qualcomm devices such as MTK devices. I will give a small tip on how this can be done in those other non-Qualcomm devices. Here we need two things. One is OEM provider kernel source and the other is CAF kernel source. So here I am taking my ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 as an example. So first let's download the Zenfone Max Pro M1 kernel source. My heart rages around like an ocean. Okay, so download completed here you can see my download kernel source but the download kernel source is in the form of a zip file that is in the format of tar.gz we need to extract that zip file so let's extract it extraction completed let's see here it extracted into amazon 4.4 so let's get into that folder here you can see the kernel source my kernel is 4.4 version if we don't know what is our kernel version then just open the make file inside the kernel directory here let's open the make file here you can see my kernel version is 4 and patch level is 4 sub level is 192 so my kernel is 4.4 version most of the kernels didn't provide a common kernel commit history. So in that case, there won't be a .git folder inside the OEM provider kernel source. Let's check here. Here is a .git folder, but that is a dummy .git folder. We need to remove that and reinitiate a new git directory. So let's remove it and reinitiate. So next thing we need to add CAF kernel source as a remote here. So for that we need to add the remote as CAF kernel. Let's go into CAF kernel source. Okay, we are into the CAF kernel source. Here I am taking my Amazon 4.4 kernel version. If your is other than 4.4 such as 4.19 or 3.19, just change it there. Now just copy the whole address and type here git remote add Amazon and paste that link here. Okay, now we need to fetch all the tags present in that kernel source. So let's fetch all the tags present in this source okay it will take some time according to your processor speed and your specifications it will take some internet too i think it will take around 5.1 gb of your data so let's wait until that finishes But if you wanna travel, then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us if I never know? 
Yeah, if you're gonna leave, I'ma let you go I'm tired of the pain Go away I'm tired of the pain completed next we need to commit the changes here so that we just need to commit this 
okay i am committing as import asus changes commit completed successfully next open your browser and go to lineage os github page and in the search bar search for scripts okay open that repository and go to best cat kernel folder open that file we need to download this into our kernel source we need to download this inside our kernel source go to our terminal and download that file okay is download completed we need to set proper permissions for this file let's set up the proper permissions okay now we need to run this file for that is type us like this now here my device platform is sdm660 and the calf provides kernel source in the tags of sdm660 so i typed here as the prefix sdm660 now press enter something wrong happened let's check what's wrong here the script is not detecting my prefix so let's retype it just put a star behind here okay you need to very careful while typing this prefix part okay now just press enter here you can see number of tags to check is 3 not 8 now the script will check for the tags and it will give the best matching calf tag of your OEM provider kernel source let's wait until this script succeeds
Your face reflecting bright green, brights and blues You know I kinda want to disappear with you But I don't think that is what I would usually do Script succeeds. You can see the best matching cap tag here. Yeah, mine is listed here. So, by this method, you can find out which is the cap tag used by your OEM. As I told earlier, if you are using a non Qualcomm device such as NTK device, you no need to do all these steps because these are especially for Qualcomm devices. If you are using a non Qualcomm device, then just check for your kernel version and also check for the sub level that is 4.4.205 or 207. Here, mine is 4.4 kernel, just check for sub level 2. And go to Google's common kernel source directory and open that tag that means 4.4 tag, just clone that specific version that is if your kernel version is 4.4.107 or 4.4.207 just download that specific version and you can use it as a base for your kernel source so i hope everyone understood the video let's see with a new video